good morning everybody Amanda with mom love by jesus it's our saturday trip to bountiful baskets oh come here oh, this, dad took the keys i can't let him off the window i got our puppy with us she said that dad's out pumping gas she wants to go to i wish you could see her she's adorable good dad good dad come here we decided to bring her and get her her very first little puppuccino from Starbucks on this trip. Um, decided to see what's in Bountiful Baskets because the first one we had, we had a jicama and then we had never tried jicama and it was really good. And this last one we have bok choy, bok choy and it was really, really good. So we're excited to see what we get this week. Got big plans to work on the gardens today. Our peas need to go in. And I'm not sure what else we're getting done today. It's earthy, guys. Are you excited? Good morning. Good morning. Today. Would you like a receipt? Please. Certainly. Look what he got for you. <laughs> what, is that the best thing ever? I think she likes her first puppuccino. Alright guys, I'll show you what we got in our bountiful baskets this week. But quite a few bananas. Looks like there's six bananas. Got some kind of lettuce. Looks like two. I thought it was all connected. Might be two. Two heads of lettuce. Two things of rainbow chard. We've used this before. Not, don't remember what we've used it with. Uh-uh. Yes, we've used rainbow chard before. More bananas. Got some squash. I just bought some squash at the store because Kroger has it for 99 cents, so we've got even more to add. We've got lots of, what are these, cuties? Cuties. Drakes. Cuties. Cuties, these are drakes. They're um, favorite. They're easy to peel. Looks like so far, one, two, three, six, eight, ten. 12, 14, about to say, don't tell me they didn't do any number, 16, 16 cuties, two cantaloupes, these are nice size cantaloupes too, I think the last one got was small, and we have sweet potatoes, so we have one, two, three, So we were talking a little bit about the fact that we didn't get a variety, but I think we've gotten a lot of what they gave us. So we got two heads of lettuce, two cantaloupes, quite a few sweet potatoes, two things of rainbow shard, which when we have a big family, that's good to have more. But I'm pretty happy with what we got today. So I've been using our water jug, our watering jug wrong. My husband's going to explain it to me. Or at least I'm not, I think it needs more water or I'm doing something wrong. He says I'm just doing it wrong. Guys, look at that one. These are getting transplanted today. So excited. I'm out of water? I'm not doing it wrong. I think I figured out why it's not putting any water on the plants. 
always tells me I'm doing it wrong. Just doing it wrong. No, I'm kidding. Guys, I'm so happy. And if you can see, I don't know if you can see. But there's some dill growing right here. I am so excited about this little bit of dinky dill. Definitely need some more water of these. Some more. I'm glad these don't admit a whole lot of heat because I'm really worried about that falling. But it is. We are going to get these transplanted today. I am so excited. We are starting. If you saw our video from earlier in the week, we are starting tomatoes, bell peppers, jalapenos, spinach. Hopefully all today, if not later in the week. So really excited to get some more plants started. Um, we think we're in the the spring. No more frost. Time of year. I was trying to figure out what words to say. We still have, we have gone two weeks on what we have from the meat market. Still a freezer full. Still a freezer full. So pretty excited to keep going with the process if you don't know why we're growing our own vegetables or buying locally we have this crazy dream to one day own a farm but right now we are in the heart of arlington texas like literally i could walk to the ranger stadium if i wanted to we are in the heart of texas you could walk downtown everything but we want about how many acres uh 10 to 20 somewhere there. he says 10 to 20 we could probably do a little bit more because he had like this airbnb idea that i think would be a good idea but i think we would need a little more acreage but we want to be able to grow our own fruits and vegetables have our own animals um and just generate just live on our own without having to worry about what the grocery store has what deals just it's the best thing ever yeah best thing ever but just living out on our own sustaining on what we grow and take care of and it's just hard to do that in the city but we're starting with fruits and vegetables and making a point to buy locally because there are area people in our area or at least in Arlington that do have animals and produce milks and cheeses and stuff from those animals so I mean we're starting out our beds got all cleaned up yesterday didn't do a video with that and I've been cleaning the backyard up They look way better than they did. I still have some work done on the, to do on this long bed. But, and I got to find my rope. We did discover that in one of our beds that we're not putting in anything in today. We have some fire ants. With a little bit of research, found out that we can use diatomaceous earth to get rid of the fire ants. And it won't affect our food. So my husband and I were talking, um, if you've seen, watched the last few weeks about us picking up our Bountiful Baskets, we pick up every Saturday at 7 a.m. at Chandler Park in Mansfield. We noticed today that only, I don't know, about 10 to 12 people were on that list. There are 12 spots, or not 12 spots, 93, 93 spots for that location. So if you're interested, I pay with tax $19.50 to get what I got each week. Yes, it's a surprise. You can't really exchange. Um, and there's other things that you can add on for more money. But we found that it's a ex great investment. And maybe sometime this week, I'll look at everything I've got. I'll write it down. And then I'll go see how much everything would cost me in a grocery store. Because it has always been cheaper to do bountiful baskets and use what we got and try new things 
than it is to go buy in the grocery store um, and not really know too much about how long it's going to last. Everything we've ever bought in with Bountiful Baskets has lasted us. It's not moldy. They won't give it to us. Everything has gone through when it gets off the truck at 6 a.m. in the morning, which is where our location is or what time it starts for volunteers to go through everything. Um, and then we pick up at seven and everything's always in the best quality. They don't ever give it to us if it's not. Um, but we just wanted to put it out there that it is, there are plenty of spots available for our location. Like I said, only about 12 people were on the list today to pick up. And there's 93 spots for the Mansfield location. So guys, I mentioned in a video a while back about the people that lived here before us and their fascination with concrete. So let me just give you kind of the gist of it because there's so much. So let's start like with over here. So what I was working on over here is clearing out this space, pulled two out of the ground. All of these were already here when we moved here, but in various places. So we bought the cinder blocks for our raised beds, but all of the pavers were already here. All of them. We got, our neighbor got a new puppy. So we've been putting more pavers along the fence to keep Gouda from trying to get to the puppy. All of that was already here. We were working on this stand for the bird bath, which we're going to move here in a little bit. But all of those pavers were already here. The path that my husband is walking on. Well, he's not walking on it anymore. The path that goes all the way around my two flower beds. Those pavers were already here. And more. So, we have this huge stack right here of pavers that we've pulled out of the ground a lot of them are in pieces we have all of these bricks apparently my husband's saying there's more over there we have all of these broken concrete statues that we have found over the years or over the last two years as we clean up I'm still walking on the concrete path so we're back here in the back where no one's a lot in the back more bricks and I don't where did these bricks come from around the yard around the yard these are all bricks that we've dug out of the ground and then then of course we're cleaning up the yard today but if you look right here more concrete in the ground like I don't we have not found what the deal is about the concrete so if you would like some of the concrete please come get it we will give it to you for free the in our oh no I haven't forgot more concrete over there. got more concrete over here more over there. so <laughs> There's, it's everywhere and we're trying and we just haven't taken it to the dump so if you have any reason you need a hole we've got some like yard rocks that are pretty nice size we've got some broken statues I don't care what you need it for just come get it but this is this has been the, the epitome of all stuff because this is a brick wall it's like the brick and the mortar in between that they just laid on the ground and let it sink in as part of the patio. And it runs, um, parts of it run all the way to the house. So we're easily talking, I don't know, almost eight feet because it runs actually more than that because it runs out from under the patio cover. Guys, what is the deal with concrete?
Oh, Deacon would be having a cow. Could have stopped messing with the snake. Right, there's his other one. There was three. Totally forgot that I hit the record button when we moved our bird bath. So it was right here. And we moved it over here and actually stuck the whole bird bath on it. And this is to keep the dog out of the bird bath. Because we have a fairly huge flock of doves that live in the spring right around our house. So we like, and some blue jays. What else? We had blue jays and doves. There was another type of bird. Cardinals. We have cardinals. But my husband likes to be able to look out the window or sit and look at the birds in the bird bath. And we're going to build some bird feeders. Um, to, I don't know, get them to come around. And also, no more swing set. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can get closer. It's on the ground. The swing set was here when we moved in. And she had chicken wire up the sides of it like right here and she had rose bushes growing up the sides of it and started growing along the top we got rid of those because they were really so thorny we're digging up some little trees that had been poking out of the ground they're part of this tree has grown into these two trees we think and their roots are coming out here there's a root, I'm trying not to get hit by a shovel, that's a few centimeters, I don't know, it's about an inch. It's about an inch wide in diameter. Told my husband when he got out the chainsaw later that he just needed to cut it. He did not listen and so we thought we were making a breakthrough because we heard a crack. Y'all, ah. he broke ah. the shovel. It's not to buy a shovel when I go to Home Depot later. Oh, he said he got Are you got going it. to Home Depot? Gouda, are you going to the store? Are we going to Home Depot, Gouda? Playing in Home Depot. No writing, great. You gotta get off. Where's the seed starting soil? Are you asking me? Mm hmm. Oh. Uh, I don't know. Seed starting soil should be back over there behind compost? I do. No. Seed starters are up front. We are leaving here with plenty of sleep with 20 bags of compost and soil. We have our big fan of the compost and cow manure mixture. It really makes really good soil. Thank you, you guys. too. Thanks. She's such a happy car rider. I chuckle every time we go out anywhere with her because she is the most unsocial dog. She doesn't like other people petting her. She doesn't like other dogs. But she does good when we take her out, so I guess I can't complain too much. She let a little kid sit on the floor and play with her for like 45 seconds at Home Depot, so. pounds of soil and compost wasn't enough so we're gonna have to go back and get some more um in a couple of weeks the bed that we we filled the two beds that would be getting plants the soonest um so we'll go back in i don't know about a month when we're ready for the soil and compost to go in the final long bed those are most of our april plants but we're going to grid this bed off into one foot by one foot squares. 
I do believe they're a little bit over, but we're basically splitting it down the middle and creating five sections. I do believe it's five sections. I guess we'll see when I'm done. Guys, we got our bed ready. We got our pea plants. They look great. We started these a few weeks ago. And they're about a little over two inches tall. So we're going to put them in these two squares right here. Um, based on what their paired, uh, companion planted with. Spinach is going to go here. And I don't remember what goes there. Plant that one too. <laughs> you want to put it in a pot, like, maybe? Just put it right here. Okay, he feels bad for the little lonely one yeah, out of the there. 20 that we took. Like, look at that root. Look at this guy. <laughs> like, he's making a run for it. So, he feels bad for him. So, we're going to plant him too. Plant that seed too. Well. So, then we have, I don't know, it's, it's guaranteed seeds. It's trying. Y'all, it looks like a fetus. Hey, come on up. Right there. Drop her in there. No oh. plant left behind. No plant left behind. Okay. Well, guys, we're ending our day. It's been a really, really productive day. Really, really happy at the productiveness. We weren't planning. I wasn't planning on getting all of this done. Like, I have this huge backyard that has always been littered with cement. <laughs> um, we had that swing set thing that she used. Um, that was back here. We got rid of that today. Um, got my clothesline up. I'm hoping once it settles in the dirt a little more... Um, can start using it and it's warmer we got our beds out so excited like guys you don't understand just it was just so nice um, so we got our beds this one right here needs a little more they're not these aren't um, gridded off but um, we'll get them done when it's time to plant stuff in them. Got seeds started for about half of the vegetables that we want to grow this coming summer. We got the kids and the husband's haircut. Well, we got one kid and one husband's haircut. Um, spring break's coming to an end. We went out for dinner because my husband's birthday is next weekend. And I know it's going to be, he works on Saturday. His birthday's on Sunday and he works on Sunday. So we wanted to take some time to just take him out. Just us and the kids. We're missing a kid. We miss you, Deacon, if you watch any of my videos or if Liz watches my videos. He's been with his best friend all week, which is great. I'm glad he has a best friend, and I'm glad that I'm close enough to the family to know that he's in good hands. Um, but we, we're missing him. Um, just and just ready to get back into a routine with the kids going to school. But, like I said, a huge amount of productivity done today. Um... And it's just nice to do it as a family. And my teenager got to help a little bit. I'm trying to battle the sun. My husband always says, go against the sun. And so, but I'm now I'm blinded. But it's just been really, really nice. I'm probably not going to get to work out tonight. I'm really tired. Because um, we got up at 6 o'clock this morning. But I'm hoping to be able to just relax the rest of the night um, and just be glad that we got so much done mentally I was pretty much planning on making this last all this work last um, <laughs> a couple of months but it didn't happen so if you saw my husband earlier today this is what he looks like now he looks bold He's cut all his hair off. But we're glad that you've 
sad through this video. I know it, it's it's going to be on the longer side um, today. <laughs> it's on the ground. Look at the. <laughs> but we're glad you set through the video. Um, and I posted a thing in my Insta story or whatever it's called of if you what's your favorite vegetable that in if you could grow anything and of course ours is tomatoes and I know but thank you guys for watching we're really making progress in becoming urban homesteaders in the fact that we are in the middle of Arlington Texas right down the street from the Rangers Stadium and we want to be self-sufficient and today we've made so much progress in the right direction and we hope that as we continue to push that God will open doors and we can have a farm one day. So have a great day.